Now, WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Matt Moore. Good morning now 618 and we are dealing with that tropical humidity in the air right now. Tropical moisture and as we go throughout the next couple of days, we're going to have a couple of systems that can tap into that moisture and potentially produce some heavy downpours across our area. Daily doses of rain too, not only today, tomorrow, but also into the weekend and even into early next week too. And it does look like again a cooler and wet weekend ahead for us. Temperatures will come down to just a little bit at or slightly below average for the weekend. And yes, we will be talking about those rain chances. Currently the temps are generally in the 60s uh, across the Susquehanna Valley. We go to Lebanon at 61 degrees and we go to a live look. Mostly cloudy skies here. We'll probably keep the gray and gloomy skies around pretty much all day long and even a few passing showers. We're seeing those this morning on Super Doppler 8 Live Radar Network. A few of these showers here just to the north and west of Lancaster City and other batch heading through Lebanon County. So one round of showers this morning. They will stay on the light spotty side of things and then into the afternoon and evening hours. We'll probably see some additional showers and thunderstorms firing up and a few of those later on today could produce heavy downpours. Of course, lightning is always a threat with any thunderstorms that we do see. Today's highs around 80 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and then we go into tonight with lows dropping down uh, pretty mild levels in the upper 60s, partly cloudy skies and even the chance of an isolated shower or storm around and also don't be surprised to see some patchy fog overnight. We head through the day tomorrow and I do think we see more sunshine than what we will see today and that will help to boost the highs up warmer uh, up into the 80s if not near 90 degrees in some spots. It also adds to some uh, instability, even some scattered showers and thunderstorms firing up once again, especially later on in the afternoon and evening hours. Yesterday 83, that was the official high 76 degrees is the average this time of the year, so we were a few degrees above average. No rain in the rain bucket, at least at HIA, but some other locations did see some showers with these higher dew points now starting to work their way in from the south. In the 60s were the dew points. Anytime dew points get in the 60s, it feels pretty sticky. And looking at the uh, bigger picture here, we've got tons of moisture to talk about moving from the south to the north and a front coming in from the west. That's going to act as the focus to help to trigger some of these showers and storms for us later this afternoon. Things quiet down tonight once we lose the sunshine, but tomorrow again, we've got uh, another chance for some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up right along this cold front later tomorrow afternoon and evening. Evening, and then this area of low pressure sort of pushes to the coast and then sits there. It doesn't really move a whole lot. Easterly winds that'll keep us cooler and the rain chances around the forecast as we head into your uh, into your weekend forecast, I should say. And don't forget tonight on WJL 7 o'clock, we have our summer outlook half hour special. Been working hard on this. A lot of great information, safety tips in there. And of course, it all concludes with the summer outlook and what we expect for this summer. Here's what we expect for the next seven days. Temps will be into the mid 80s tomorrow and then a little cooler, rainy for the weekend. Monday, and Tuesday, more shower chances. Finally, finally I'm drying out. Holding on to Wednesday. <laughs> By Wednesday next week. So a long time, but we've got daily chances of rain until then. All, All the right. more reason to clean the inside of my house, right? Well, there you go. That's right. Look at the positives in this. And just yes. don't look at the grass growing outside your house. Ew, I know. It's going to be bailing it by the time we're all I know, trying to squeeze in the That's mowing right. in between the rain.